Hi, welcome you all. Namaste. Yeah. This is Dr. Vasu. This is the first video on engineering drawing. I'm going to upload all the topics in the engineering drawing with the typical problems to solve. All the modules are very planned and one can easily understand. Each topic will be very interesting and I'm sure you will enjoy it. If you want to learn this one and uh, many more interesting topics, please do subscribe this channel. If you like this lecture, please hit the like button. That will keep me motivated to create more such videos in the future. Now let's jump right into the topic. Let's see the beauty of the engineering drawing. So engineering drawing is, uh, say you call it as drawing is the uh, engineer's language. Why? Because we have a, a great saying, a picture worth a thousand words. Suppose I have something in my mind and I want to express something. I have an object or uh, to design or to manufacture or to make something. I have a picture in my mind and I want to explain. Even if I use thousand or two thousand words, they may not be sufficient and they may not give you a clear picture to the other person. So, a simple picture, the drawing drawn on paper will speak more about all, it all. Complex 3D shapes on a 2D paper can be expressed, right? Very easily. But to whom this drawing is? There is a, a lot of debate on this topic. Why? Right? Is it meant for mechanical and civil engineers only? It's a million dollar question because Many people think that uh, uh, it's meant for mechanical and civil engineers only. Why, if, why for a computer science engineer? Why for an electronics engineer? Right? So it's absolutely not, it's a wrong notion to think that it is meant for only mechanical and civil engineers. Why? Because anyone who would like to express his ideas, for it may be for designing or for manufacturing or some sort of uh, making the object. Uh, this drawing helps a lot. It, a computer engineer, computer science engineer can be one among it because he develops the software required for many type of uh, people, right? It may be for the product development or for a design or for manufacturing or even some architectural software some sort of, when he, he has a clear picture about all these objects, all these drawings, then he will be able to develop the required software easily. Even for animations and games, all these, they require this sort of different views. When he has a clear picture about the views and all these projections and all these drawings will help him to develop the required software are for that. So all engineers need it. It's a definitely, uh, we can say that everyone needs it. Who would like to express his ideas? So another uh, benefits from this is actually, once you learn this uh, drawing, it improves your imagination, your thinking capability, your, uh, it enhances even creative thinking. It's a right brain activity. These are all additional advantages of uh, learning the engineering drawing also, right? So let's see how it is. Uh, in a simple way, I have de developed uh, all the modules for easy understanding and uh, easily reproduce it, right? So learning will be fun, definitely. You will uh, see all the lectures which I am going to upload. So. Before we start, let us see what are the required things for it. The instruments required are, we should have a drawing board so that we can clearly draw the pictures, right? A mini drafter and a set squares, 45, 30 and 60, and a scale, a compass, a divider, protractor. Actually, protractor comes with the uh, set square itself. No need to have a separate one. So. And uh, we need pencils. Two types of pencils are very much required. One is H and another HB. H for to draw thin lines or light lines, lines in a light way, we need a, a pencil H. 
and to make it dark we need a hp or even people some uh, with the hitch itself uh, people will try to make it dark that's uh, it's up to them but we if you have these two it would be good a eraser and a drawing sheet and a drawing board clips so that we can uh, fix the drawing board sheet on the board so these are the required things instruments required so so let's go into the uh, brief details and uh, introduction of uh, these drawings so to start with suppose we have a line of 100 mm long and uh, we want to show the draw a line and show the dimension these are the two aspects and very important right so here when you are drawing to start with anything you start with a thin line right a thin line light line line must be very thin and a line right light and mark it suppose i have marked it as a b some length now on this from a we mark the required length of 100 mm right we mark the, uh, the required length here 100 mm and now mark this as a point c and now highlight it highlighting means it is not that uh, it should be thick it should be dark it should be dark and visible highlight it that's it it only for our understanding i made it thick but don't think that it is thick it is highlighted that's it it is dark now and after getting this is the way of drawing any line of a required length now i want to show the dimensioning of it how much length it is right for this at the ends we have to draw extension lines extension lines means they are perpendicular lines perpendicular to this line we draw two lines here all these are called construction lines only draw the construction lines light and thin now after drawing this at a distance of about uh, 10 to 12 mm 10 to 12 mm roughly it is not uh, the hard and fast rule but for our convenience you draw a line parallel to this line and this is called the dimensioning line this dimensioning line also should be thin and light and here in the ends you have to show filled in arrows right these filled in arrows should be touching the end arrow tip uh, this extension line the arrow tips should touch these uh, extension lines and the actual distance of this uh, dimensioning line in the between these arrow ends we it is equal to 100 mm so the actual length of this line ac is 100 mm this is a so we have drawn the line marked it shown the dimensioning these are very very important aspects and for any drawing we need them next comes suppose i want to bisect a given line i have, i was given a line here right some length we don't know and even if you want to bisect with the scale it may not be possible because it need not be sometimes uh, uh, to the integer values of millimeters so sometimes suppose if it is a uh, uh 30.5 right 30.5 mm the line is 35.5 mm then or 100.5 101.3 something like that how to exactly bisect bisect means divide it into two parts how to so in the ends we take the we take a uh, divider right uh, uh, sorry a compass we take the compass and take some length uh, the mark some distance of on the compass and here in the end at end a you put a one end and uh, draw an arc and uh, the length of this uh, compass you take is roughly more than 50 percent roughly 50 percent roughly is this much more than roughly more than this much you take some length and a as center draw an arc next another arc in the bottom with the same radius b as center you intersect this arc in the top as well as in the bottom join you get two intersection points one intersection point here and another here join these two you get a 
these two are CD marked and join these two points, you get a line. This line exactly bisects, makes into two equal parts and that point midpoint is E here. So this is a bisection of a line. Next, bisection of an arc. Suppose you are given an arc, while drawing you get some arcs and I want to bisect it, divide it into two equal parts. How to do it? You take AB here, the arc is given, I mark it as AB, take the compass, right? And take roughly more than half of this length as a radius, AS center, draw one arc here in the top and B as center, intersect this arc, you get one point, C. Similarly, with B as center, I draw an arc here. With A as center, intersect this arc, you get a, another point here. Joining these two gets CD. Joining, you, you get a line. This exactly bisects this arc into two equal parts. Right? So, E is the midpoint on this. Now, Suppose I want to divide a line of 160 mm into 10 equal parts or 7 equal parts, something like some number of equal parts. How? If you take uh, 167 by 10, 16.7 mm, we don't have 0.7 or 0 0.3, 0 0.4 like this on the our scale. So we cannot divide this, uh, we cannot get this 0.7 using our scale. So what to do? So here comes a, a simple procedure to divide into any number of equal parts, right? You take the given line, right? This is a AB 167 mm, right? And one more thing here while writing this, uh, you need not write uh, mm always here. I haven't written a 167 number is given. The meaning of it is Generally, we write in the draw, bottom of the drawing sheet, we write uh, all the dimensions are in mm. That's why we don't write, uh, we don't even need to write uh, this uh, mm here. So 167 is enough. So this is 167 mm. Draw a line here at some angle, at some angle, right? At some angle, we have drawn a, a some line, thin line. Now, Take some length, known length, it may be 1 centimeter or 1.2 centimeter, depending on your uh, space available and uh, uh, position here. You take uh, some length, say 2 mm, 2 centimeters, something like, and mark uh, these points. How many? 10. I, because I want to divide, I want to divide this AB into 10 equal parts, take 10 points here on this line. Mark starting from A, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The 10 points I have taken here, right? Now, this 10 point, I mark them as say 1 dash, 2 dash, like this to 10 dash. Now, I join this 10 dash with B, the end point, right? I join this 10 dash with B now. Now here comes, we have to draw lines parallel to this line, passing through all these points. Passing through these points, we draw lines like this. These are all parallel to that line. And here, after drawing, these lines intersect this uh, main line here, AB, at uh, some intersection points. You get some point. Mark this point as say 1, 2, 3, like this, you get 10. So we are able to divide this uh, AB line into exactly 10 equal parts. So without using a scale, we are able to uh, get the division of a line. So like this, we will be uh, using this uh, sort of uh, division of a line into number of parts at many places while drawing. So it need not be 10 even, it may be 5 parts or 10 parts, 7 parts, 8 parts, something like that, right? Depending on the, on the requirement. So this is the best way of a division of a line. So hope you had uh, understood this topic.
If you have any queries or suggestions, please do comment below. Thank you very much. In the next video, we are going to see the polygons. Thank you.